Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get 3DS emulation working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is going to be an updated tutorial for 2022 with the latest versions of Citra working as a native ARM application on M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Macs. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is to download Citra. So if you actually go to the Citra website and you click on the download here button, we have the option to download the Intel x64 build. However, Citra does not support Macs with M1 chipsets. This build will actually run through Rosetta and you will encounter issues that they don't support. So what I'm going to recommend that we do is to download a nightly build from Darth Nihilus. This is the Citra Nightly ARM64 build. This is going to be native Apple Silicon. One thing to be aware of is that this is going to be a nightly build. This is going to be based on the latest versions of Citra that have been worked on. They've not necessarily been tested very thoroughly. However, this is going to work a lot better than the Intel build here. So all we need to do is to go to the releases section here. And then what we're going to do is to download the latest version. So at the time of recording, it's this one 1780. However, in the future, there might be more recent builds. You can try different ones. They might have different compatibility. So I'm going to download this top one here, this .7z. And this is going to download a compressed version of the Citroen Nightly build. So once this is finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and minimize. And then we're going to open up Finder. And then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then we're going to find our .7z. So we're going to double click on this and then archive utility is going to extract it. And then we have this folder here, head. So this is the application that we need. We're going to go ahead and double click. And it's saying here that Citra Qt cannot be opened. And so what we need to do is to hold down the control key and then click on Citra Qt and then press open. And it's saying here that this can't be opened, but now we have this new option here, which is going to bypass gatekeeper, press open. So now Citra is open, it's asking whether it can collect data. I'm going to press no. And now Citra is here. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a game. So the best way to get a 3DS game is to use a hacked switch and then decrypt your own 3DS ROM. Alternatively, what you can do is just type the name of the game into Google, type in the word 3DS and ROM, and you're going to find lots of different websites online. Just be careful of downloading software from random websites. Make sure it's somewhere that you can trust and just be very careful of downloading random things from the internet. So here, for example, I have my Bravely default zip. What we're going to do is to double click on the zip file to extract it. And once that's extracted, we can just double check in here, we have a decrypted 3DS file. So what I'm going to do now is to add that game folder to this list, I'm going to double click here, and then I'm going to go to my downloads folder, and then go to Bravely Default, and we're going to add this folder. So this is just adding an individual game, you could have a new folder, which contains all of the decrypted .3DS files in one place. However, I'm just going to be opening a single game at this moment. Here, I'm going to press open to add this folder. And here we can see that Bravely Default is added here. So what we can do now is to double click to start loading the game. So a long standing bug on macOS is that if you have this kind of blank screen when you load up a game, all you need to do to get the game to show is to change the size of the window. So I'm going to open up like this. And now that game window has loaded up correctly. So in order to interact with the game, we need to check our binding settings. We're going to go to Citra and then Preferences. And then here under Controls, you can check the face bindings here. You can also use a controller as well. Here we're going to select a new game. Here I'm just going to open up Activity Monitor. And you can see here that Citra is working as an Apple type device. That means that it's working as a native Apple Silicon application. So now the game has loaded up and that is all working correctly on the Apple Silicon Mac. So another tip is that you can change the screen layout here. I like to have mine and side by side, which gives lots of space for the touchscreen element. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much, Dark Nihilus one for creating the nightly builds for this software. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.